Hello, and welcome to the Farewell to Backup Tax session. My name is Melanie Benham, and I lead a team of cloud systems solution engineers across our West Europe region. I'm very pleased to be joined by Colin Emery today, one of our solution engineers from the UK, specialising in data protection and business continuity. Welcome, Colin. Thank you, Melanie, and hello and welcome to everyone. I've been in the IT industry for almost 40 years, and for many of those years, backup and restores have been a keen interest of mine. One of my claims to fame is that in the late 1990s, I remotely backed up the world's second largest database. It was only seven terabytes. Things have grown a lot since then. Colin, we're often told the cost of data protection is too high. Is this true? Well, it's no secret we rely on data more and more each day. And this, there comes consequences with this. Data sizes are getting bigger. And because it's more important to us, we are pushed to create more redundant copies. Also, because data is updated more rapidly, we need to create copies more frequently while coping with ever shrinking backup windows. And then we try to fix the problem by throwing more hardware at it. And this increases the cost, right? Yes, but that's only the tip of the iceberg. We need expensive software to sit between the hardware and the Oracle database to coordinate things. As the data sizes increase, so does the cost of the backup software. But it doesn't end here. Production systems that store critical data are not inexpensive. Correct, but how is that related to the cost of backups? Well, let's assume that a typical backup will take eight hours to finish, taking 30% of the resources during that backup. If we do the maths, backups are costing 10% of the system. And this is conservative. Backups are IO intensive. They may take more than 30% of the resources. Those backup copies have to travel through several components like backup servers, ethernet switches, SAN switches, all of which need upgrades, optimization, and maintenance efforts. Even with all those components and efforts, traditional systems are barely keeping up with backups. You mean that it's not possible to simultaneously run backups and restores, right? Exactly. But don't forget that verifying backups and creating additional copies are all technically restore operations. Not being able to verify your backups routinely increases the risk, adding to the cost indirectly. And not being able to create additional copies on less expensive mediums forces users to replicate to similar systems for additional copies, greatly increasing the cost. Yet we are still not able to protect all of our transactions. Right, so we can restore to the last backup, but anything in between the last backup and the moment of failure would be lost? Yes, and to shorten the data loss gap, most of our customers are pushed for taking very frequent archive log backups, such as almost you know, every 30 minutes. If you have, let's say, 20 databases, that is almost 1,000 additional backup jobs every day. We have seen several cases where our customers, due to performance concerns, have chosen to send these archive log backups to expensive tier one storage, which increases the cost further and sadly still does not eliminate the data loss gap entirely. There's something that I'm very curious about. As part of data protection efforts, customers are now choosing to encrypt their databases. So how do you think traditional data protection systems will be affected from encryption? Well, all modern encryption algorithms are designed for high entropy, high rates of change, meaning that data reduction will be significantly less. That will naturally result in backups consuming significantly more capacity, time and resources. That means if you don't have excessive capacity and lots of unused time left in your backup window, you will need a better solution. Mm. So how can we, Oracle, help our customers get rid of this backup tax? Can we improve the performance while decreasing the costs? Certainly. With the ZDLRA, we have reinvented the way we protect Oracle databases. It's a departure from the traditional approach. The recovery appliance is not the least expensive hardware, as we needed to build in quite a bit of intelligence and needed to create a robust, fast platform. 
but all of that built-in intelligence and database awareness features returns a savings. First of all, we no longer need long and resource intensive backups. Every day the recovery appliance takes an incremental backup and creates a virtual full in the background that does not require additional disk space. This method also minimizes the negative impact of encryption. Mm. So that sounds like a nice solution to many of the problems you mentioned. Correct. While doing this, we don't need backup software and additional servers. We minimize the infrastructure requirements. On top of this incremental forever strategy, protected databases can send a copy of the transaction to the ZDLRA, the recovery appliance, in real time. That not only removes the need of taking frequent archive log backups, but also decreases the data loss gap to near zero. Everything is automized, requiring very little management and maintenance, because from database to data protection, it's a single vendor. If anything goes wrong, it's a lot easier to troubleshoot and fix. Mm. So you mentioned some issues regarding creating additional copies. Thank you for reminding me. When we need additional cost efficient copies or extended retention, the beautiful thing with the recovery appliance is it can create these copies by itself. The recovery appliance can offload the copies to a connected ZFS appliance, Oracle Cloud, tape, or can send them to the customer's existing backup solution. Not only that, but with its end-to-end -end validation, the recovery appliance verifies the blocks when it receives them, periodically in the background within itself, and also when it sends or receives them from those other backup solutions. So how does the recovery appliance help us with restores? Well, first, the recovery appliance is incredibly fast. It is optimized for recovery, so it is way faster than other products. But more importantly, we can restore to any point in time. This becomes vital when we have several databases that need to be kept in sync we can restore them all easily to the same point in time, keeping consistency across the databases. And the recovery appliance is unique in having all these capabilities. Its built-in intelligence helps to massively reduce your backup tax. Lovely, thank you Colin for, sh Colin for sharing your insights with us today and thank you to you, our audience, for being with us. Now let's hear about a real life backup experience. Hi everyone and greetings from sunny Greece. My name is Konstantinos Dodis and I would like to share our experience with Zero Data Loss Recovery Appliance. I'm working as an Oracle Database Admin for 20 years. The last seven years I'm working for Cosmote, which is part of a tech group of companies. I am responsible for consolidation and migration of Cosmote core databases to Exadata, either on premises or in the cloud. Otec Group is the largest technology company in Greece. It's one of the top three listed companies with respect to capitalization in the Athens Stock Exchange and is also listed in the London Stock Exchange. Otec Group employs more than 11,000 people in Greece and approximately 16,000 people in total. Otec Group offers a wide range of services, fixed and mobile telephony, broadband services, pay television and integrated ICT solution. Cosmote is the unified commercial brand for all the products and services of the Otec Group. The DBA team is supporting more than 800 production databases, having a volume of more than 5 petabytes of data supporting customers in 5 countries. During last years, our data grows 30 to 50 percent. This growth had a dramatic effect on what we are demanding from our backup systems. We have increased demand for continuous data protection, deduplication, reduced backup windows, and faster recovery speeds. The challenge was to find an efficient way to shrink backup windows and at the same time to ensure we can recover in a short time without any data loss if possible. We used various traditional backup solutions, each having their own shortcomings. We followed a backup strategy where we took full level zero backups at least once a week, followed by daily incremental level one backups to tape. 
Apart from increased backup time during full backups, almost all resources were heavily utilized, like CPU, disk I.O., and network traffic. This overhead naturally led to poor application performance and customer complaints. As part of this strategy, and due to strict RPO objectives, archive logs was also backed up several times a day. With this strategy, recovery required last good full backup, all subsequent incremental backups to be good, and of course, last backup of archives to be good. Since backup integrity was not tested, we usually crossed our fingers and hope everything would work as expected. For the only thing that we were pretty sure was that we could not meet our RTO objectives. As most telecommunication companies, we should quickly develop and deploy new services to our customers. For such a purpose, full-size databases provisioning of various UAT and test systems is required in a very short time. This required involvement of other teams, making it more complex and time-consuming, taking into consideration that recovery was already a long time process itself. Finally, to be honest, we had never a clear view of our backup environment in various aspects. For example, size of backups, the application factor, and validity. There was no way to head a report of all of the above. With these challenges in mind, we moved forward, and now we are using Zero Data Loss Recovery Appliance as our main data protection solution for almost all critical core databases. Of course, we are still offloading backups to tape, but transparently, without impact to databases. Recovery Appliance is responsible for this job. We are planning now to offload also backups to Oracle Cloud. Now, we are using one tool, Oracle Enterprise Manager, for alerting, reporting, scheduling, and administering Recovery Appliance. The transition was very easy, without any downtime, of course. DBAs, including me, loved it. After all, it's only Arman. DBA now has the full responsibility of the backup solution, and most important, there are no dependencies from other groups. No more deployments of backup agents. Zero Data Loss Recovery Appliance Library is already there in every Oracle Home installation, ready to use it. After transition to Recovery Appliance, our backup strategy is once level zero and forever level one. Resource utilization due to backup reduced near to zero, and there are no customer complaints. Backup duration reduced more than 10 times. We really shrunk backup windows since there is no need anymore for full backups. Since virtual full backups are created by daily by Delta Store, we can restore and recover four to 10 times faster. We are also able to provide tests and UAT systems rapidly, and most important for the DBA, without any other dependency. We are very confident about recovery success. Recovery Appliance validates continuously backups for us in an automated way. RTO objective is now less than one second. With real timer do log shipping enabled, we do not have to schedule frequent archive logs backups. We are confident that our databases are really protected till the last transaction. Backup space savings were huge. The application factor reaches 40 to 1, and still there is space for more databases to protect. The management of this backup solution is now centralized using Oracle Enterprise Manager. Reporting was never so easy, and now we can have a clear picture of overall status on our backups. Time spent for managing backups has been significantly reduced. We even tried it successfully for cross-platform migrations. Recovery Appliance really simplified the whole database migration process. Finally, DBA now is responsible end-to-end -end for backup and recovery without any dependency of other groups. DBAs, including me, are completely happy with this solution. Thank you very much and hope we will meet you again and share our thoughts and experience in personal. See you.